Hello everyone and welcome to Raise Zero Space and Kerbal Space Program 2. The first patch for Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access has been released, so this is version 0.1.1.0. And there have been many bug fixes and performance improvements, and we need to check it out. This is the save where I built the International Space Station, or as got as far into building the International Space Station as I could in the very first version of Early Access KSB2. And so first thing we're going to do is check whether it's still there. And oh, one thing that's interesting to note is, and again, this is an existing save. Uh, a lot of the problems that might occur with an existing save won't occur with a clean save. And let's be clear about that right away. So we're just seeing the situation with an existing save that came from the previous version of KSB2. And one thing I have here is that the little destroy button is sort of hidden by the flight uh, situation. I don't know why that is. Here, there's the space for it. Here, when I click on what is currently the ISS, it, it sort of hides it, which might be safer, but uh, I, I can't actually click on it, I don't think. Uh, but, but again, we don't want to destroy it. That's the destroy button. Uh, we want to control it, so let's go over there. And this is how it loads. We have seen in the construction videos the lag around the station and so we might be familiar with that. Uh, take a look at the timer there. It seems to be ticking faster. So there's uh, fewer in-game seconds per, uh, sorry, fewer real-time seconds per in-game second. Our fuel, the mod propellant, is still the same as when I left it. There is no uh, indication of the mysterious disappeared resources, right? Yeah, the fact that all the other tanks are zero tons, it's still zero tons. So they're not mysteriously filled now. So, well, anyway, it's here and in the state that I left it and it has the right orbit. And so let's check up on the shuttle in the VAB. Well, loading the shuttle in the VAB doesn't go, well, it might go a little bit faster. It seems a little bit, bit less laggy. Pull out a part. Yeah, it's a little bit better now. Uh, right clicking still takes some time, but at least it's not impossible. I used to have to go to the part manager icon down there. So we're going to try and redo STS 120A, which was attempting to place the Harmony module plus the replacement PMA2 onto the station, and we'll see how that goes. It's a mission that we did already attempt to do, and so we have a comparison to that that we can make. And they've changed the font on a few things, by the way, which is interesting. I don't know why there's something there, but okay. So we'll try and launch it and let's pick some Kerbals. It does seem a little bit smoother, even though this is a lingering save. Still some wiggles on the pad when I take it out here. Now the problem with the original delivery of this module had been because we why is the staging like this? Uh-oh. Um, had been because we couldn't get it to dock. Now, since then, we docked something else to the station, so certain things might be reset in their state. We'll see. Um, you know, this shuttle has engines. Oh, this could be dodgy. Okay. It did just release them. We'll say revert to VAB. It's got stuff here. <laughs> it's got stuff here all spread out. And it's completely different from what we just had. Okay, let me reload it. Okay, I reloaded the craft file. And it has it like this. Which is the way it's supposed to be. Okay, now it looks right. Okay. And launch. I should see whether my joystick works now. I didn't see anything about that in the patch notes though. Okay, we sort of stabilized and our launch azimuth. Okay, getting ready for booster set and separation. It's interesting, it shows my descending node, but it doesn't show my apoapsis now. We're a little bit low this time around. I guess the better frame rates led to different timing compared to what I was used to. Oh well. well. We certainly have enough Delta V to boost up if I want to, but... Uh, I think we'll just let it be. 
And let me transfer some mop propellant into the shuttle since we were underfueled this time. Okay, external tank set. And maneuvering. Those on. Oh, good. The little liquid engines, the little, uh, whatchamacallit, puff engines read the fuel this time. That's an improvement. <laughs> they even have the Delta V reading. They've also changed how the intercept points are displayed here. One thing I might like is if the target's PE and AP were colored differently than my PE and AP. Oh, I guess when the markers are going across, it, dis it makes the AP disappear too. Okay, we're experiencing some experiencing some extra lag now that we're in the lag range of the station. It's not too bad, I don't think. Well, it's less than before, but it still exists. It's definitely more than one real-time second per second in-game. Uh-oh, it's showing me the wrong vehicle intercept now. I mean, we're 3.9 kilometers away. This is probably not the opportunity that we should be told about. We're moving towards it too. See, the target intercept point is 152 kilometers away. That's obviously not the next one because we are, you know, three-ish kilometers away and moving towards the target. Right, 3.7 kilometers away, we're moving towards it as you can see by our vectors. And it's saying that the closest we're gonna get is 152 kilometers so yeah it's premature about taking away the next intercept okay slowing down here knocking acquiring force let's reduce undock okay well we'll we'll stick to the payload Ooh, it's tilting quite a lot though okay but we definitely have less lag I mean you can notice that we have less lag than we had before Let's see if this docking works now, or whether it's still an issue. I mean, nothing against the update if it's still an issue, of course. They're not required to fix things in old saves. Just make things work in new saves. I'm tempted to try and time warp now to see what happens. I'm gonna save first. Now, before, if I time warp like this, we had the shuttle losing its wing. We need to attach to this side. Lag around the station is certainly better than when I left it in version 0.1.0. I have said that a few times, but um, it bears worth mentioning considering how painful it was close to the end there in episode 9 of the ISS construction. Smash into it. Nada. Nope. Busted port. So, performance improvements. And let's check the other bug fix, which is... Well, does the shell still have its wing, even though we time warped with the payload really close to it? Okay, well, the shuttle is still intact, at least. So we'll bring it down, but the attempt to add the harmony module once again failed. So, this will not be an official part of the ISS construction series, this will just be a test of this version of KSP. And we see that there are improvements. The save is probably what it is, it's got a busted port on the station there. I'm even willing to go in the direction of the station this time. Station's there, our wayward module's there. We might be able to dock it to a different port, temporarily. But I don't think that's going to help anything unless we can figure out a way to remove the first port. The forward port. We could replace the Destiny module. But I'm not thrilled with that idea. Losing another module in the hope that we can get... You know, the other port behind it working. Get a new Harmony module on there. 
and then a, uh, a new Destiny module on there and then attach a Harmony module. It's an option, but it's not a wonderful option. Okay, coming down on this orbit. A little bit shorter on fuel than usual. Okay, well, let's see if anything changed about the shuttle re-entry. Sort of important. We're still going awful fast. And we're really high. Compared to usual. We can see the Space Center area there. I guess I can probably straighten up. But I think we're doing a left instead of a right, which is normally what I've done. Normally it's been a right turn. Oh, uh, oh, go. Point down. Point down. Uh, doesn't want to go down. I use the engines to help. Okay, there we go. Oh, too much. Too much. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, let me turn on the engines again, but that's not helping. This is not helping. This is not the time for dramatic music. This is time for other music. It's maybe the center of mass and center of lift have changed since the update. It feels like that. It feels like we've got a situation where the center of mass and center of lift have changed. So we might have to do some redesign of this. Is this gonna make the same sort of turn like the clipper did? Well, there we are, acquiring prograde again. But I don't think we have enough speed for much. Not the island runway. Oh no, not that. Well, it seems more probable than the main runways at this point. At this juncture. So I feel like something has changed there. It might be very subtle. The balance of the shuttle was very very precise in the first place. It's not like we haven't flipped out before either. I'd say aim for the middle of the runway, but there isn't that much runway. Okay, I sort of see the runway there, woo. I want to say this flies better at low speed and height now. I mean, you know, barring the going out of control part. But we'll see when we pull up. I think I'm a bit off. Oh, it rolls a lot though. Let's uh, just not do that. It ain't pulling up. Ah! Oh, its stall speed is higher than it used to be. The stall speed was higher. I had more trouble pulling up. There's extra sounds when we crash. Okay, well that did not work out well. Looks like we're going to have to do some work on the shuttle for it to be a safe bet again. Just when I had it all working out nicely. <sighs> oh, well, oh well. Anyway, at least we have performance and... Probably in the clean save, we wouldn't have the docking port problem. It's just because that this is a lingering effect of the previous save. But we'll have to see. I have another plan for this version. It will not be the International Space Station. We might work on that, but uh, there will be another plan. And we will see what chaos we can wreak with that, that project. With that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.